Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Triple P with me and my amazing friend Hiba who I got the chance to meet after three long years. In this episode, we'll be showing you the five things not to miss at the Ethnic Somali Carmel Mall in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So how are you feeling Hiba? Oh my god, <laughs> I can't even, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm my best friend, finally after like three years or yeah. something. Cool. <laughs> Number one, amazing chai. Now one of the first things that Hibak recommended for me to try was the official Somali chai. It was the best idea ever. Not only was the tea hot and milky, but also extremely flavorful. I was so impressed by it that we asked the owner if you could see how it was made. He added in milk, water, cream, black tea, and most importantly, cardamom, cinnamon, and a mix of spices that made all the difference in the world. Number two, beautiful henna. This decorative designing on a person's body stems from ancient India, but it has also spread to many other cultures around the world, including to countries such as Somalia. It is created from the powdered dry leaves of the henna plant and is mainly put on women for occasions such as engagements, weddings, and cultural festivals. Seriously stunning. Number three, delicious foods and snacks. If you're looking to try the authentic Somali cuisine, there is no better place to come than to the Carmel Mall. You get everything, including sambusas, which are stuffed triangular fried pastry dishes, anjero, sourdough pancakes drizzled with butter and sugar, flavorful rice dishes with the various meats, pickled mangoes, as well as sweet halwa, a glutinous sweet dish very similar to Turkish delight. There's so many varieties of snacks as well. It is your food paradise. Number four, colorful ethnic clothing. Somali clothing is quite varied and you can find all types of styles including long flowing colorful dresses to simple black robes to also jazzed up attires for special occasions. Since majority of the Somali population is Muslim, the clothing tends to be modest and you'll find many varieties of especially the jilbab. We also found a lot of jewelry stores with gold bangles and earrings as it is common to wear these during ceremonies. Number five, artistic murals. When you walk out of the mall and towards the car park, there is a huge wall covered with beautiful Somali art. It is particularly fitting as it depicts aspects of Somali culture, traditions and life back in the motherland. <laughs> 